Hi guys, um, I just wanted to talk to you about a few things as you're getting started with the negative space. Um, each of you has a post-it note on your project that gives you some information about um, what you should do with your negative space. It will either tell you if you are going to have shadows. So those are cast shadows, shadows that are um, sitting on the table. If you're going to have cast shadows and if you are going to have a line for the table. So that post-it note tells you if you'll have those. If you do have cast shadows, I drew those in for you with pencil, okay? Um, I, did, I drew that in according to where your light source was, which will be in the opposite direction of your light source. Now, if you did not have a light source posted on your paper, I put one on there for you, and I based that on where you had your light source on your practice drawing. So um, you, you don't want to move that light source because then your shadows would have to change, okay? So... This is just an example, um, Nick's composition here. He will have a line for the table and I told him that it will be high on the paper since his um, farthest cupcake here is very high on the paper. His line for where the table is going to be is going to have to be about here or higher, okay? If it's somewhere down here, then this cupcake is floating. All right, so I'm gonna talk about that in a little more detail in one minute here. And then also he is going to have shadows and I've drawn those in, and this is an example of where I put the light source on, and I base that on his practice drawing, okay? So I'm gonna turn this off and then um, show you an example of how to draw that line for where your table is. 